Okay, I'm pretty sure all of you guys in here like to add a little something sweet to your drinks. Maybe like some coffee because it's so bitter. Um, but at the same time, you don't want to gain those little calories, so um, you don't know which one you want to add. And one of those additives that a lot of people use is Splenda. And a lot of people don't really know if it's really beneficial to you because you're not getting any calories. Well, I'm here to explain that um, regular sugar may be a better choice for you than choosing Splenda. And by show of raise, uh, like raise your hand if you've used Splenda before, maybe for coffee or anything. And a lot of you guys, raise your hand if you know what's in Splenda. And okay, so let me explain to you what Splenda really is. Um, the main ingredient in Splenda is sucralose. And sucralose was accidentally found um, by the scientists when they were trying to find this, or trying to like come up with this insecticide uh, product. And yeah, it may be bad because it's an insecticide, but it's not that harmful um, because it does miss those 2% chemicals um, to get the, the formula for the insecticide. Dr. Janet Hull says that it's 98% pure, so you guys are okay with it, but 2% it's not. Um, those two, that 2% contains the acetone, acetic acid, acetyl alcohol, ammonium chloride, chlorinated sulfate, and 13 other chemicals that I don't know how to pronounce. And which it means that is the main ingredient that's harmful to you is chlorine. And if it's in your system, it's really hard to break down. And if it doesn't break down, then it's just gonna cause really bad digestive system. And how do we know this? And the thing is that Dr. Mohammed um, did a test to on test on rats to see if it really um, was harmful to this, uh, the health system. And he found out that um, there was a reduction in beneficial fecal microflora, and it increased intestinal P glycoprotein and the other, um, their, the cytochrome P460. And what does that mean? It caused bad metabolism, and those rats got really sick. And yeah, all these tests has, um, it was done on rats, and it wasn't on humans, but it was a short-term um, test, and it, can't, it couldn't be done as in a long-term test to humans yet, because it hasn't been around that long. And so, because of all the tests that's been done, and like the tech scientists say that you know it's not really good for your health, although it's um, less calories, what you can do instead is, um, you know, it's it's since only been around a little bit, you can still choose to put sugar, or for coffee, you can add milk to it, or you know you can visit a local farmer's market and find something that's natural to you that's not, you know, accidentally been found because I don't know, they're trying to find something else. And you know, it may be sweet to you now, but it may end up being more bitter than sweet in the future. You know, start thinking about um, your internal stuff rather than your external ones.